Yeah, so Ken's take on how to raise a daughter as, as a male, this is so important. And women, even though we know and, and people say that men raise men or boys and women raise girls, it, it's true to a certain degree, but you also have to have the flip mode. You, ha you have to have the flip mode because being a man, you know the games that men or boys are going to try and play on your, your daughter. So a woman should always make sure or a girl should always make sure that the, the parent or the man is involved or in, in, in the mix of if she's starting to see another, you know, a, a, a boyfriend or whatever. I mean, you know, we don't really encourage boyfriends. Um, that's something that, you know, what I mean, the Western world has pushed. But in, in m most traditional ancient cultures, you don't do this boyfriend thing because if you have many boyfriends and then you sleep with them, by the time you're getting married, you've already taken in a lot of DNA, as, as I explained on my other take. So um, this is why when, you know, a girl doesn't have a father around or a male figure around to see the tricks of the boys, um, the cycle can continue where, you know, the mother may have been, you know, beguiled by a man. Now she's had a daughter and then the daughter can go through the same cycle. So how to raise a daughter is to make sure that she's very clued up and knowledgeable on what guys do and what tricks that guys will, you know, will play. So it's always important for the father to look at this young man in the eye and say, what, you know, what are your intentions with my daughter? And um, check them out, check their background. You know, are they a waste man, as the young people say, or are they someone that has got their head screwed on? They they know what they're doing. They're not just after one thing. They're not just trying to, do you know what I mean, like pull a fast one. And so, yeah, my take is on bringing a daughter up is, one, you have to be close to that daughter. You have to be able to allow her to speak to you about anything and be able to be comfortable and you have to know how to convey the information to prepare her <laughs> for the tricks because most of us as men w would have grown up, um, you know, knowing what we did. So we know what other men are going to try to do to your daughter or our daughters. So, yeah, teach them well. Um, obviously, we have information like the genetic kiss, which I've mentioned. And I think if most young daughters or girls were familiar with this information at an early age or young age. Another scroll is the sacred feminine, um, the Gospel of Yanun. Girls need to be equipped with that information so they understand about feeding the forces, about taking the genetics they're taking in, about exchanging bodily fluids and how that can affect them because they're taking in, you know, 30 plus more personalities from, you know, the partner that they're going to be interacting with. And, um, yeah, just make sure you're involved in, in the decision. But the minute the father or the male figure is pushed away, then the guy knows, okay, no one knows my tricks. I can definitely get away and beguile this, you know, innocent, perhaps, girl. And so, yeah, it's, it's very important that the man is involved in raising the daughter as well as the mother. The mother can teach the daughter things of a feminine nature like deal with the menstrual cycle and cleanliness and you know that type of thing. But in terms of knowing what the opposite sex is like, that's definitely got to be done by the male because no one knows the man or the male as as good as the you know the, the father is going to. So yeah, that's Saken's take on how to raise a daughter. There'll be more to come. So stay tuned on Saken's take.